Welcome back. Are you well? So, I found this figure from uh, a cheap shop. It was only a couple of uh, euros. I think it's from League of Legends. It's a very cool figure. But I think I'm going to try and combine it with this. Very, very cheap 99 cent um, plastic figure. So you know what that means. Let's start scratching that build. Okay, thanks for tuning in to Terrain by Aaron. If you're new here, my name's Aaron, and I like to scratch build things on a weekly basis. And if you are new here, then boy, you have stumbled across something that is new to me. Uh, I'm gonna try and cut apart this figure and make it into something else, I guess. So uh, what I'm gonna do is take its skirt off, its skirt or whatever you wanna call it. I think it's one of them Chinese things. I don't go into very big detail on that sort of stuff. Anyway, that's off. Um, yeah, gonna think I'm gonna lose the tail. Yep, gonna lose that tail. Gonna lose the legs as well. So I need to cut the legs off right there. Um, so then I can start building it up to make it look like some sort of robot sort of figure. Um, take the head off as well, I reckon. Can I, can I do it? Go on, can I? Go on, brute force and ignorance. There you go. The head is off and so will the tail and the legs. Now, more professional uh, model builders would have used um, a warm bowl of water and soaked the figure in there just to make uh, all the plastic more softer to make it easier to cut. I'm not a professional model maker and I'll just go with brute force and whatever is strongest to cut the damn plastic. Now it's the turn of this very very cheap uh, nasty looking uh, 99 cent toy. Um, this is horrible and I just don't know how it can pass. It's got the C CE mark which is classed as a child's toy and it's passed whatever tests but my god it's bad. Uh, I'm just gonna, it's, it's got some flashy light, which I didn't want. So before I saw anything and blow myself up, I'm just taking the batteries out of the back and then I can cut it down the middle. So here I come with the um, hacksaw just uh, to cut this plastic. It was dead easy to cut. Now to spare blushes and embarrassment of watching a grown man try to figure out how to put one toy into another, I spent about 45 minutes trying to work out how I could get the monkey part into the robot part. And this was a lot of snipping, cutting and sanding down just so I could get to this point. Which was basically, well, it's not going to fit because the tail's there. And I'd already thought to myself I was going to chop the tail off, but me being me, um, forgot about the tail so now I'm just uh, cutting down the tail and with a lot of clever editing uh, there's the finished bit and it fits well yeah there there we go it fits lovely now glued that in but you could still see the join so then I thought well how's that gonna work and I thought hang on uh, Aaron use your head you've got some green stuff putty that you could use to uh, cover all that in you see I was having trouble it would not stay in there so that's why I got the green stuff out and um, just covered the joins really or the gaps I think I clearly stated that this was my first time doing one of these builds uh, so everything is a process of learning now surprisingly I've not used this one before this green stuff um, uh, uh, filler I've always used um, other stuff so this is a first for me so if I've not squished it together enough I'm sure somebody will leave a comment Morrigan's creations uh, that about how I should have uh, turned it about 25,000 times before it was ready to stick on but I'm an impatient man and just rolled it together until it came to that sort of color and then just sculpted it into the uh, holes and gaps and just tried to make it part of the sash or the uh, scarf around his waist 
that's what I like to call it. So once all that was drying or setting, um, I thought, right, it's going to need some wires. So I just uh, made some made some holes in the shoulder and the arm of um, his left arm, really, uh, just so then I could uh, put some wires in later on down in the build, down the build, in the build, along down the build. Ah, oh, Jesus. I should put my glasses on to read this script that I've written. Once the holes were made, then it was on to deciding what sort of head this uh, creation was going to have. And I decided that it was going to have a tank head. So I just broke out the pieces of this tank, stuck them together, and then placed it onto his head. So once everything was set and glued into position, it was time to cut off this knobbly bit. There you go, gone. And then the tank could fit right on the top, but then I had another problem all the gaps which meant breaking out some more green stuff putty so once i'd sanded everything down as much as i could i uh, glued it into place and then just broke out the uh, green stuff again and just um, made it so it looked like a continuation of his neck scarf a lot of scarves on this guy must have been cold when he was fighting so what i did was just make a long noodle and then just stuck it all the way around, covering the gaps and trying to get it so it would stick onto the tank bit as well. And then just blended it into his uh, neck scarf. And then it was, well, virtually done. Or so I thought. Because as I was blending the neck scarf in, I kept looking at the figure going, yeah, there's bits and pieces I could add onto this. So I just started trimming down certain bits, certain pieces. Um, just so then I could add more different pieces and all these little greeblies came from that same tank kit I just used wheels and the barrels that should have been on the side of a tank basically so uh, that's why I'm gonna call this uh, creation tank face yes I know how original but then again and then I decided to give it some Wolverine claws because why not and once I was happy with all the little greeblies that I'd added, it was on to the painting. So, shock horror for all the uh, uh, new people uh, that are just here. You won't realise that uh, me breaking out a different colour other than green or grey or black is a huge milestone. So, I just decided to start painting this uh, the robot legs blue and uh, this paint is terrible um, I got it and it was cheap it was on offer I realized why it was on offer because I think it took about four coats just once the legs and arms were done then it was on to his furry body which obviously was going to be brown I painted the greeblies um, like a steampunk uh, copper and then uh, decided to hit it with some black so then it would just be a simple dry brush of silver over the black just to highlight these uh, little faces that were in his uh, gauntlets and that my friends is basically how i entered the world of custom action figures uh, if you like it please like subscribe uh, share and uh, leave a nice comment and it will be on to the glamour shots. So until next time, if I can do it, you can do it. So keep scratching that build. <laughs>